You're tuned in to What the Fuck News with Charlene and Poof. We keep up with the shenanigans so you don't have to. Please remember to like and subscribe. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you have a wonderful day. Hey, everybody. We're continuing our conversation from the last show. This is part three of dating drama. Okay. And it is very drama filled. So I don't know if anybody else, um, any of the adults that are listening, if they are doing any type of online dating. I've, I know that's kind of the wave now. That's kind of, you know, the, the direction that dating has taken now where everybody's doing it online. And <laughs> I feel like there's way more to be cautious of mm-hmm. than just catfishes. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. Okay, you, you're going to have the catfishes, but you got... It's only a screen in between y'all. It's only you you don't see these people 24 hours a day. You don't even see them for an hour. You know, you have to do put so much trust into dating online. And it's like I think it's dangerous. I it think is, it's dangerous. It's 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 dangerous. It does it can have its dangerous moments, but like I said, that's that's the way how everybody is doing things now, you know. And, and you see I mean, more, you more reports of women coming up missing, and no, men coming up missing, men getting set up, and all. I know, stay. Uh, uh-uh. uh. It's like you going to date you, you back looking for your murderer. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. No. 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 But I just be like, you know, you could do, you could do all your own research, even mm-hmm. you know, go as far as. You know, getting these people name and doing a little Google search or, you know. Well, now they got it where you can do a background check. You can pay to do real background checks. On yeah. Mm-hmm. And I think that that's going to be the best thing. But then you don't know, being dead ass honest, you don't know when a person going to go the hell off. They might have been a good person, but you might be that one. <laughs> yeah. To make them lose their absolute ever-loving mind. So dating... To me now, days. I don't know. Maybe it's because we we can see more because of the internet. Maybe it's always just been dangerous, or is it more dangerous because the world looks sm- smaller now? Um, I don't, honestly, I don't know. I just. I don't know. I just, I, I, I know I'm starting to, it's, it's not taking a toll on me, but it's to the point mm-hmm. where it's like, <sighs> I didn't had about, let's say six different, six different profiles hit me up saying I'm on deployment. Once I hit deployment, I'm automatically like, no. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. No, no, I would report this profile so motherfucking fast. Like, <laughs> leave me alone. And I'm I not do. I'll be reporting. Listen, first of all, you know I like the apps that allow you to ver- do a verification with the selfie. So the, and mm-hmm. they let you know that this is a certain this person is verified. This is who they are. These pictures. And it's like, even with that, you can get the whole rundown, the whole spiel, and, you know, read their bio, and uh, it's still, it's you, you, like I said, it's a screen. You're not, a lot of people not even having their first actual conversation on a phone until weeks later, like, Hmm. Everybody's so caught up with just texting. Nobody's actually on the phone. Shit, let alone going out and actually meeting up in public places and doing things. And everybody wanna, everybody wanna go meet a house. When we go, when when can I come over? Like, never it be a when can you come over? When can I come over? Like, let me let me pack up my spend the night bag. Like, give me a reason to have a spend the night bag. You motherfuckers be so quick to come lay up in a in a bitch shit. It's giving homeless, all right? 
<laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> man, no, you didn't. All you men on this dating app, I'm going to need y'all to stop making the first visit to a bitch house because it's definitely giving homeless vibes. It's giving, I need a dollar, dollar. Ooh, you dollar, know what? That's what I need. You know what? Oh, I'm, so glad. <laughs> I'm so glad I don't date anymore. <laughs> oh, these horror stories you be telling me. It's giving very much you don't have a place to live. Which, listen, I don't knock nobody's situation. I get it. Motherfuckers be going through shit. Motherfuckers be down yeah. and out. But if you are literally homeless, there's no reason for you to be on a dating app, sweetheart. <laughs> there's no Everybody reason. need love. You know what? Everybody need love. Yes, everybody does. But I'm going to need you to get your shit together and love yourself first. <laughs> Before you go out looking for love, from somebody. getting somebody else to love you, huh? Oh, okay, because that's selfish. It's uh, you, love yourself, love yourself enough to want to. But now be, you know there are people out there that are drawn to that because they want to go in and fix it. Fit who? What? They, I, am Jesus. That are I am not that. Jesus. I am not Jesus. I cannot okay. fix you. you. Know I cannot help you. I cannot. You get what I'm saying? I. I can feel sorry, but I can't do nothing else. Right? I can't because, listen, I might be two months late rent payment or being in the same situation as you. Like, like you, mm -hmm. I can't. I'm, I'm, I'm doing bad right now. Like, granted, I shouldn't even be dating, but. Okay, I know I, I get what you're saying. I I'm in a little saying. bit more of a predicament. Like, I got my own place. I got my own vehicle. I got, you know. Yeah. It would be nice if I had a man that wanted to, you okay, know, write so my is, a little right, bit. Okay, so see, this, this is controversial, what we about to start talking about, because, and welcome to the show, everybody, but we, we go continue, like I said, we continue our conversation on dating, and I don't want, I don't want to make anybody mad, but, because I have my ideas on it, I don't want to do it, but anyway, <laughs> you, <laughs> with you being the age that you are, you're not even 35 years old yet. Mm -mm. If you've given up like this, how bad is it out there? Um, I said it before, and I'll say it again. The dating pool definitely has doodle in it. I told you. I told you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I ain't trying to be funny, though. But I, I know. But I did. did not, no, what did I tell you? Just before Jan passed, I told you I stopped dating because the dating, the dating pool had doodle in it. Y'all laughed at me. I was just an old lady. She's just talking. Okay. It, it took me, but you got to actually be in the thick of it. Like, it's in the thick of it. Like, oh, you, you, really, you know what? <laughs> you really got to be, because it's, you know, like I said, I wasn't dating for a little minute. That was a couple right. shows ago, like last yeah, couple, six bad. months. You know what I'm saying? Like, I yeah, wasn't yeah, dating, honestly. Bad. I wasn't. What was that last summer? I think yeah, last summer, I wasn't dating. I wasn't entertaining. Okay. That's why when I ran into the so-called friend, I was cool with just being friends. I was cool because I was working on me. I told you right. I was going to therapy. I was, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, you, you was you was telling me, mom, it would be good for you to go and do the therapy. It's not bad, and because I'm. I was, I'm I'm looking I'll, through the screen talking about that. Is she trying to tell me to go lay on somebody's couch? I swear to I'm going. I mean, it was, it was, it was, it was. You know what? That was good because you was doing your thing. And yeah, I like it. I was just trying to find out how was the best way that I could serve me. Because you said, you know what? You told me I am at my happiest. I am at peace because right. I know you. Because I know the other other side of the thoughts that you've had. Yeah. So. When I when you told me that you was at in at, at, at peace and all that. Oh, so you whoa, oh, oh, I see what happened to you. You thought because you was at peace and in your happy in your happy space, then it was time to get some friends. <laughs> yeah, like why not share this vibrant part of me now with other people? I might I might be able to be the sunshine in someone else's life. I might be able to be that. Pick a rapper in somebody else's life. I don't guess mind what? That. I don't guess mind what? That. what guess what? That's why we had jazz because we wouldn't we ain't built for that. <laughs> we not built and you know <laughs> and I really built. do believe that. I believe this, 
and it, it brings me back to I'm never gonna run into nobody like that girl ever again in life. Cause because we're not built for that. Cause cause that no, cause no, no, cause see that because we we too short. Mm -mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yep, Lord. And it, it, I, I, I be all, when I'm by myself, when I'm not uh -huh. thinking about just like, even if I just want a one night stand, even when I'm not thinking about that, right? I be cool. I go in there, I got my bottle of champagne, I'll go get my orange juice, make me a nice little mimosa, get the little foot scrubby thingy, get the rubbing my feet and playing my music and. Whatever I be at peace, I be chilling. I I love my own company. Why mm -hmm. wouldn't someone else like my company? I think I'm. Well, I tell me. myself jokes and laugh out loud. So I oh, I oh man, listen, I don't I don't talk. So sometimes out I entire think entire I am scenarios. fucking hilarious. Okay, I don't talk about entire scenarios to myself <laughs> out loud. Seriously. And if I'm not talking to myself, you know I'm in here talking to Nugget, the damn cat. I got three dogs. I, I come out, curse one out. I'll push one off the bed. I'll pick up the other one. I, Man, listen. I, you know, look. It's a, I'm it's, my own best company, being honest. Because when I'm around other people, I, I feel like I have to be... No, I don't have to. I feel, I feel like I have to be nice. Even though I'm not being nice, they don't know it, though. And they like that shit. It's like... It's like... If I act, uh, I don't know, not nice. They like me more. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. If I act, not, it's like if I act the opposite of jazz. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Jazz drew me in, but now they trying to crack me. But I'm not that. I'm not that. <laughs> yeah. The same no. What you want. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do, do you understand what I'm saying? Okay. Those were Jazz's friends. They thought the Jazz got what she is from me. Yes, yeah, she did, but I'm pissed off that she's got it, so I'm not going to treat you like she's treating you. I'm mad that she got that gene from me. That I want to be for I, I, everybody, even Steven. No, everybody, even Jazz, you're going to learn that. <laughs> the, old, the older me is trying to tell a younger me. And it's hard because that's why I be talking to you about you and Kato's relationship on this dating thing. Because she's going to be you. <sighs> and she's going to have to watch, she's going to have to keep her eyes and she a brown paper bag, bro. Yeah. With hair, <laughs> her own hair. And she's smart. Don't tell her I said she was cute because I still want to fight her. But anyway. Lord. Yeah. And, yep. I don't care if I turn her 75 and, and I ain't seen her. I still be going to steal. I'm going to get up out my wheelchair. We fight. He boxing it out. I've been wanting to fight her since she was a five. <laughs> she goes, she reminded my daughter too much. That means you reminded me of me. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> so I'm not going to sit here and argue with me. Who is you, little girl? But that's what you're gonna have to. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to give her some information on this dating thing. Everything that you're telling me that you've been going through. That's that can be a conversation you have with her when it's appropriate. You know what I mean? So you keep you guys to keep two lines of communications open because you see what you're going through now. Okay. And you're talking about the technology. And you know the technology is going to be totally different by the time she gets of age to do that. <sighs> So what if they had stuff now? What will they be able to hide? AI is taking over. Mm. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I can put a photo of me up there and it don't even don't even have to be me, but if the AI make it so real. People do not, people it's just dangerous. It it's cool to everybody. Can talk or whatever, 
But y'all gonna have to be real careful on these people that y'all date because the story you just told me about that fool. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. That's a bit much for me. In fact, it's too much. I just be trying to. I don't even too much be, too fast. Do you understand what I'm saying? That was too much too fast. Yeah, and it's like, oh God. I don't be out here getting up. I don't wake up in the morning and yawn and stretch and say, whose day can I fuck up today? <laughs> Like I don't, I don't. I do. I have a day. I don't, I don't yeah, wake I do. up. I don't wake up and choose violence. Oh, I oh. like. I I want peace. I, <laughs> I, want, I, don't, I don't want peace. I want problems. Don't, don't want problems. You know, wait, I, don't want they, I saw the original. I saw the original. <laughs> <laughs> he was dead ass serious, bro. No, when I say he was, he said, yeah, I don't want peace. I want problems. I will probably go stop because I'm a killer. Oh, I, <laughs> I really, I just, I be wanting peace, yo. I, I, and it's I, like, <clears throat> because I've, I've acquired peace and mm. pe I think people can sense that mm. they, they choose to disrupt it. They choose, and they, it's like, they find the way. That's the part that I don't understand. What I don't, okay. See, now we can go into a different parts. We can scroll. We're still going to be talking about day, but this is what I want to say. Why do people invite either like chaos and, or invite chaos into their lives? I hear Nugget yelling outside my door. Nugget, what do you want? Come on. Yeah. Yeah, we raw doggers, y'all. Just here. Here go another show. We raw dog. I'm telling y'all. Hang in with I'm recording Nugget. You can't you can't talk. Okay. Yeah, but uh, this this dating is is really really becoming such an issue. Like and then the thing that I don't get is, you know, you'll have general conversation for about 10 minutes. Mhm. Mm and you know the next question oh so when i'm gonna see you or when you free and you could be like well i'm free this day or that day or the third and they'll be like or i'll be like you know depending on what you want to do depending on what you have in mind you know and they'll be like oh you pick Motherfucker, you just asked to see me. That obviously means that you have something planned for us to do, right? No, no. Come to your house. <sighs> Listen. Am I right or wrong? That's why when they say okay, it's what, what that's why when they say, when can I see you? Depends. What do you have in mind? Because I could mm -hmm. I, I I could plan. I could plan something for us to see, but then I won't hear from them no more because they my my first my first answer wasn't oh come to my house or yeah exactly I won't hear okay. from them no more. I won't hear from them <laughs> no more once I say what you have planned for us to do mm -mm. oh you want me to plan something oh no on the next recording I'm gonna try to use my new uh earbuds. Because I can hear some feedback, but I don't want to test them out right now. But I'm going to test them out after we get through recording. When we, you know, after we mm -hmm. start to upload, because I'm really, I'm sorry, y'all, to break into what we're talking about now. But it's really bothering me that I'm getting the feedback, and I'm hoping it doesn't really take everybody off focus with what we're really talking about. Can you hear it? I don't hear anything. See, then it's that's why I'm going to use my earbuds on the next recording because I can hear it. But anyway, go. We were still talking about the dating. Go ahead. Um, I mean, moral to my story is, um, fuck niggas get money. You, you know what? No, I don't want you to be like that. Because, because, because there might be a person out there. You're only you under thirty five. 
But maybe I'm thinking this is what I'm thinking. Maybe I need to elevate my dating bracket. Maybe mm -hmm. I need to elevate myself to put myself in a different dating bracket. Maybe that's what right. I'm say. Yeah. So that, that, that. yeah, I'm gonna focus because like I told you before off camera, I got some things in the works that's going to potentially you know, bring in more... <clears throat> See, first of all, you're not in the environment of people that, that that's on a level or like-minded. If you're not surrounded by like that environment, I don't think you ever... I don't think... I think it's less likely that you run into your soulmate or, or your, your person. Yeah, that's why me. I said I'm gonna... I'm, I'm gonna continue to work on me and continue to push the things that I have in play right now that's going to bring in a little bit, you know, more coin. Elevate, elevate the bit, area. Yeah, yeah, a little bit more, you know, maybe move myself out of where I am and elevate the whole, just elevate altogether, financially, mentally, uh, physically, you know, all, physically of that. all of that. Like, Maybe I need to work on me and put myself in a different bracket so that I can yeah. be put amongst a different type of exactly or... what is out there. What you want is out there. I'm quite sure if I was still if if I had been in a frame of mind of wanting something, I probably could have found it. I didn't want it because I saw it more of a headache. Yeah, that's okay? cool. For me. Cause, but I can't tell nobody else what to do because I don't want everybody to live like me. Everybody's supposed to be free thinking. That's what I feel like. Do what you, you need to do for you, but as long as you don't get hurt and you don't get stigmatized. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't. I don't. <coughs> no. <coughs> so that's that's all I want. Any, any, any person, actually, don't get coochimatized. See things, see things for the way it is. Because if they lie about little things, they'll lie about big things, bro. That I've learned. If you lie, I mean, come on. Like, you lost, you lie like, like that. You, you, you would have thought, thought we was in our early 20s, mid 20s dating and lying. Like, all right, if you 25, you and you got all your pictures in front of like convertibles and exotic vehicles and shit like that. Mm -hmm. we, we you get what I'm saying? You start yeah. acting like they're yours. We get it. You young. This is this is the this is the 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 fantasy that you want to put out there. Right. We, like I said, I I don't date under at this point, I don't date under 30. Right. I don't date under late. 30. So everyone that I do look look Towards is 30 and up, preferably okay. between the ages of 30 and 38, like maybe 40. I'm not gonna push it, but what the fuck you lying for? Like, like what language you know. wrong to be saying here talking about some what is yeah, I that? Got my, what what is I got so my own hard to remember? It's hard to remember a lie. Yo, that's why I'll be like, yeah, the, the the type of motherfuckers that I'm attracting is just definitely not for me. Like, cause you got motherfuckers that'll be like, yeah, I live alone. You know, I look at my own crib. I I got my own car. And you you come to find out you living in your parents' basement that has your own private entrance. That's not <laughs> that's not home, bro. Like, uh, God. And but now, nobody. wait a minute. Wait, hold on. Hold on. I don't knock nobody. Hold a on. Roof is hold a roof. on. That is economical because you, that's the family home. Do you understand what I'm saying? He's still living separately. So you got to look at it the other side, too. I can. I can. But you lied. Like, you, <laughs> you still oh. lied. I just, I don't know. Like, I be feeling like, okay, yes, in this economy, something like that would be okay. But then if mm -hmm. you've got the type of parents that's... Helicopter? That, and not treating you as an adult. Right. Like, coming and saying, oh, turn, turn the lights out, company mm -hmm. gotta be going by so-and-so. We're 30. 
<laughs> we're 30 right. years old. We don't have curfews. Like, I literally, I jokey joke around with it, but sometimes when I do go out on a date, I'll joke, jokingly say, so when is your curfew? <laughs> like, when, uh-uh. is your curfew? when do you have to be back home? And I really be wanting them to be truthful. Like, what, what, like, are you allowed? To I don't know why this conversation just triggered me. Cause that happened to me actually. A dude what? that was dating, a dude that was dating, was going to my sister's birthday party. Now he had a van, but I thought it was his, right? Come to mm. find out it was his sister's, and he had a curfew. He had to be in, his, yeah. in the back of the house by nine o'clock. Lord Jesus. We're 30. 30. Actually, actually, I was actually I was I was, wait a minute. I was down there 40. He had to be back in the house by nine o'clock. The party didn't start till seven. We didn't get there till eight. And guess what we was at nine? Back in his uh but they had a curfew girl. I, I I was done. I was so done. I was so done. I you know everybody be you know struggling at some point in time. But well, if that's what your family members act like, I don't want to get tied into that. Yeah, I just like I don't. That's how I, I don't think. I just feel like we at an age where even if you may not, even if you don't have a home, like everybody doesn't have to be a homeowner. Like I don't knock you if you have an apartment or you know if you got a studio or one bed. Like I don't knock. Nobody like, but at this point in our lives, I feel like if we're if we're not already in some type of stable environment financially, you know your own your own something of your own. Like if you if you don't have no type of ownership over something, like what what are you what are you working for? Like what do you? I mean, at least you your own apartment. Your own something, your own vehicle, your own, just your own something. Your something that literally shows your responsible level, your responsible mindset. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Maybe I'm not, I'm not wording it right or I'm not expressing yeah, it. Because I was right. just thinking you're not wording it right. I understand what you're, sorry. I okay. understand exactly what you're saying. Yeah, but you're, you're right. You're not wording it right. So, but for the slow people, the, the smart people will get it. The <laughs> slow ones are arguing in the comment section. But anyway, I get it. But I'm not going to. Because I, I just, you know, that's where the conversation of dating down comes in. I'm like, why should she have to? If her mindset is somewhere else. Why would you date somebody that's not on the same level, at least thinking wise? And then y'all can help each other to the next level. But if you got somebody that doesn't have any ambition, why would you hook your tail up to that? Can you answer that for me? Why would why so how does the idea of dating down? But how does that strike you? No. Hmm. I won't do it. I'm not going to do it. Like, I've been running into more men over the age of 40 mm-hmm. that have nothing. Mm. And I mean, just that. What is that, I wonder. I mean, okay, because no, I've, I've had stuff and just walked away from it, lost house cars. I mean, the lines of cars, you know, the things I've gotten on my own and lost in some kind of way, whatever happened, gave it away, sold it, but it was mine. You know what I mean? So I felt like, I feel like 
if you can't do that, I mean, if you can't do that for me, what I need you for, I, I don't, I, I just, and I didn't need the and headache. that's, 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 I think that's another thing. Like, I feel like if you are over a certain age and you have nothing even to offer yourself. Mm-hmm. Okay. Like they, they gotta. There has to be more. Okay, now I get it because yo, because at least I've had about independence of this was mine. I had my own, just like you, my own apartment, my own car. What do I need you for? Right. Now, like, if you're not responsible, all, for you, all you can do is come over here and get my butt wet and argue. And what do that's I? That, for? I'm trying to say that without being sounding so like shallow or anything. Like, if all you are good for is for a fuck, hmm. don't expect anything else from me. Right. Don't you? What? 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 Um, Maya Dawn said. He could get See, this now we're getting down could, to it because because that's, that's that's what we were talking about. That, that that's what it is. If I can do it for myself, what I need you for? I don't need you for that. Tell me what I need you for because I want right. to need you. I I, I want to. I could want you, but I I for me to be in for for the long haul, I'm going to need you because my ADD will kick in. I'd be like, you still here? Give me know. a reason just, to want you around. And a lot of men are like that, but they don't want to admit it. Why well, don't want to check? Why do I want to spend 15 years with a motherfucker I don't like? Come on, man. That don't seem like marriage to me. That seems like torture. And I was 61. I'm glad Jazz brought the man for her. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm happy that she did that before she left this earth. She found the man for her. That was never my goal. That's how come I say my daughter was different from me. Her spirit was different from mine. She had patience, you know, even though she didn't have patience with the nut job. <laughs> no, really, like, it's, <laughs> oh, God, I really do it's think. Different. I really do think like the female species in general is like a weird species because <laughs> I'm sitting here thinking to myself, like it was one day I was sitting here and I was like, damn, yo, it's fucked up out here because all the men that I want, they don't want me back. <laughs> like, they don't want you know me what? Back. Like, <laughs> you know what? It happened, bro. The men that but have I you know like, that if, if you turn it around the other way, if you don't want him, some of these men are actually killing women and turn them down on dates. <laughs> actually shooting them down. One girl, she just got stabbed up and, and died. Yeah, in Brooklyn, the, 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 dude down. the sisters, yeah, one of the one of the sisters, the twins. Died. Yeah, I saw. But it's like that's how dangerous dating has become. I mean. These are some real nuts out there, you know. But I be street, feeling you know? like I be feeling like it ain't gonna cost you nothing. It costs absolutely nothing to make a text-free phone number, right? Mm -hmm. Even because you know you got men nowadays. You give your phone number and they text you right on the spot. They call you right on the spot. Mm -hmm. Just so that they can lock, you can lock their number in your phone, right? It costs mm -hmm. nothing to make a text-free number. Well, now, listen up. You lied about giving them a number, they get home, they ain't your number. Listen, it, it goes straight to your phone. When you mm -hmm. call that number, it goes straight to your phone. Mm -hmm. Now, listen, ladies, here goes some free game for you. Men, mm -hmm. leave the room. Mm -hmm. Ladies, the men left the room? No. Okay, listen. <laughs> It costs absolutely nothing to go on your app. We're talking about Androids, iOS users. Go in your Play Store, go in your Apple Play Store, whatever, and get you text-free, right? You Now, your text-free number could be for any state, anywhere, any, any, your, your area code could be for any state, any, you, whatever. Oh. Whatever. Really? Yes. You make you a phone number. Now you you can watch a couple videos to go ahead and get you the, the coins to to uh for whatever else you want to use the number for. 
But get you a tax free number, right? And give them that number. Mm. When he calls you on the spot, your phone will ring. Your phone will ring. So it will look like that you gave this man a number, a working number that is going to contact you. At least you know any number that you see coming through the text free app is a number that you don't want to answer. Exactly. You know what? That's a heads up for your ass right there. So that you know what? I like that. I like that. That's yeah. Okay, good. now the men can come back in the room. That sounds good. <laughs> no, seriously, that sounds good. And that's how you prevent getting shot up, stabbed down, spit in the face, all that in the street by these crazy niggas. You give the crazy niggas the crazy text free number. I don't even understand why it's got to be like that. It, but the, the, it wasn't like this 20, 30, 40 years ago. We're here in the 2024 century. Um, It kind of was. It maybe was, but it's not as you, it's not as bad. It wasn't as bad. This is this yeah. is this is critical well, like, now. Oh, like I said earlier, or like I said earlier, with the internet, we gonna know everything because people are either uh, commenting on something, telling them about their life, took a photo of it, shared a screenshot. <laughs> I mean, so people are more apt to tell now because you didn't have the ability. For you to do a, a a a Facebook post and it go viral, you know, yeah, you this is it's it's. I it's think different. there's more ways of protecting yourselves, ladies, nowadays than it was. Mm -hmm. Um, back then, yeah, it's way it's more true. ways, and it's not always some. You could solve more of your problems, life and death problems, with just using your common sense as opposed to a gun or a knife or being belligerent or just using. Because right now, I want to say we're using about 10% of our fucking brain function. Mm -hmm. If you open up your mind just about 12%, I think we'll have better odds of living a little bit longer because like the, the, even, yeah, you, everybody goes into panic. Everybody goes into panic, especially my Brooklyn sisters. We aggressive. We rude. We 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 put we wearing this shit on our chest. Fuck my dick, nigga. Yeah, we yeah. out here. We out here. We willing to hurt a nigga feelings, let alone we can be physically hurt. Well, that comes from the environment. But even with us bucking up at niggas, do you see we still losing our lives? We but could be as gangsta as we want in these streets with our tens to the to the best of our abilities, but we still out here getting murked because we turned you down because we don't want to talk to you. Hmm. Nah, hmm. yeah, our environment made us, you know, roughnecks. But we still females. We still we still want our booties rubbed. We still we still want to be called pretty. We still want to be feminine. We still want to. You get what rub I'm saying? Rub my booty, you dead in your shit. I'm telling you now. Huh? I said rub my booty, you get in your shit. Punch dead. I don't fuck oh, my, my. oh my god. Well, don't rub my butt. She don't want no, no butt rub. Don't, don't come over here with that shit. I do. <laughs> 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 I'm over here with that shit. I ain't even got no. no butt. Rub my back. Okay. Rub my big back. <laughs> you so old. You is so slow. <laughs> I cannot with you, man. I be wanting a nigga to run his fingers through my back rolls. Mm -mm. <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> but. I will still read you for filth and tell you about yourself if you get on. Hey, do you life. have a specific, do you have a specific type? A type, you know, I I I don't think I do. Like honestly, just 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 be the average Joe. Just be an average Joe. You know, go to work, go home. You know, wash your testicles. 
Jump up on the game, play you a little bit of 2K. No, you know? not just a testicle, run all the way through the back now. I mean, yeah, that too. I think they know what I'll be right. talking about. Like, jump your not ass all out of them, but I'm, I'm Open the up, stand with your back to the water, spread your <laughs> cheeks, and watch your towel. <laughs> <laughs> Don't, do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Use a towel. <laughs> Don't do All right, mom. No, in here. Mom wants her out here lathering them cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot do it, mom, bro. Mom wants y'all to spread that ass. <laughs> Go on, drop your eagle, mother. Get your eagle on. <laughs> no, bro, oh, my man. God. No, man. some of them don't do it because I'm like, are you? And then you want somebody to do it from the back. Who are you talking to? <laughs> do it from the back. <laughs> Who are you talking to, bro? <laughs> oh my what? god. I'm gonna show you what I smile punch you in your damn nuts. You don't go. That shit. No one wanna walk up on you shaking that shit. You fuck you bitch. You, you washed your ass today. But I'm gonna wanna put those things in somebody's mouth. Don't nobody want all that. Nobody want that shit. I just I mean, I don't really I don't think I have a type. I just want Okay. The average, the average. I'm, I'm okay so with an average. An average he doesn't have to be tall or short, or he doesn't have to be wide. I like him tall because I am a little tall myself. Okay. I mean, I'm not over six feet, but I'm, I'm, you know, I'm up there. He's five, um, five, maybe five, six. So she's I'm five, up. seven. Mm. Not yet. Shut the fuck up. Huh? Um. Yeah, I don't, you know, I like them tall. You said, you know, respect on my name. I'm five, seven. Well, I'm five, four, and I don't care. I was yeah. still trying to put you there in your shit. I'm, I'm, I'm five, five, seven. I'm tall enough to, to be eligible for the next top model. Nugget, <laughs> shut your ass up. Yeah, I could be in, a t in the running for the America's Next Top Model. They got to be five, seven or higher. So, but um, yeah, I like them. I like them. I like them tall, dark, handsome. Maybe you know, I, I I love me a brother. I don't want them pretty though. No, they don't got to be pretty. I don't need a Drake looking ass nigga. Um, you think Drake is pretty? He had. I don't call it pretty. I call it light skin tendencies. Yeah, he. Yeah, that's what that is. Yeah, life. No, I don't need people the light skin. skin people, light skin people are bad name. I don't like to stand next to light skin people because I'm a brown paper bag. I don't like to stand next to them because they be putting everybody on the same category. That is not me. I don't act like that. They make they make no. my butt itch. You they do what? weird shit. Light skin people do weird ass shit. And that's why I don't. I don't know. I I like them. I like them like. You know, I like them looking rugged. Like, I like... <laughs> like, come here. No, you know I what? Like, no, like, I like beards, you know? You do? I love beards. I don't mind them being groomed if it's groomed. Yeah, it's groomed. it gotta be groomed. It gotta be, you know, it gotta... It gotta connect. Like... <laughs> you know what? <laughs> it be having patches and shit. <laughs> you gonna say that brown... You gonna shave that down, my boy. <laughs> you gonna shave that down, my boy. I don't. I don't really. I mean, even if you got the 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 clean shave, you know, you mm -hmm. got like the little porn stash or you know a little goatee. Like I don't mind. Don't you get curled up on the ends? Don't they curled up on the ends? We work. We can work. Yeah. With. No, I don't need it curled. This is mm -hmm. this. Yeah. You ain't got to um, do all the good shit. I also don't mind bald heads. It depends I don't on the mind, show head. I don't mind bald heads. The reason why, why is because if you have come to terms with the fact that you have a receding hairline and it's 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 just going further and further, further. You know what? I don't okay. mind you owning up to that and just saying, mm -hmm. you know what, I'm just gonna mm -hmm. shave it off. I respect that as opposed to you trying to hang on and 
put on man lace fronts and and you know what and all this other bullshit like no just let it go baby just okay but you know what when you say it like that i can go on the back pedal and say i agree with you yeah like go ahead and rock that baldy go ahead mr queen do your thing like it's cool like i was i honestly so some men do look good with it though they do especially oh they they got the glasses and and they look just they got the beard and it's mm, like it's just, yeah it's giving um i'm gonna eat you up <laughs> it's giving i'm gonna i'm gonna tear that ass up no? okay, you, hey, i'm gonna ask you something what about a pacific a pacific uh celebrity women fall all over this person i don't get it jason momoa jason. the one that was married to uh the uh Mr. the hawaiian dude is he hawaiian yeah the one that played aquaman mm -hmm. yeah what about him I, mm, I, why is he a sex symbol why he what why is he a sex why why do women consider him what is it about him that women find sexy i'm a woman but i want I, these are questions i've been wanting to ask another female what is I, it well, that you women see in him I I'm, I'm really, I'm really, I swear to God, and I'm not no beautiful woman or none of that, but I gave birth to a beautiful girl. Okay. So, you, you know, know I, I talk, but I, I just want to know what is it about, about him that makes women think that he's a sex symbol or make you even think about sex when you look at him. You know what it is? I think that um, Samoan men are starting to be brought more to the forefront when it comes to when it comes to body size because women nowadays want those chunky men they want them stocky men like um what's the name what's his name Dwayne Dwayne the Rock Dwayne, he's, he's Samoan and, and, and that that that's another questionable question I'm questioning women's uh you know preferences when I see him and women women be doing that extra shit and then, like, even okay, and then, so when people be thinking I'm being racist, Kevin Hart, what the fuck is y'all doing? Okay, oh, I mean, on. I listen, I mean, Kevin. I, I just, I just want to know what is what are women looking at when they see these people? I don't you, know. It's is preference. It money. Is it's, it pre it's preference. It's preference because that's, that's not what I, I know. It's a preference, but what is it in you in them? I, I don't know on your preference list. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> because that's, that's not, not my just, preference. I'm really not trying to be disrespectful to none of that, but I kind of am. But what you gonna do about it? Uh, I do want to know some things. I'm I, I don't hang out with people, and this is the best way for me to find out is to ask questions. Yeah, no, I don't. you know, and then especially running a, a company where we're supposed to be dealing with public and promote, promote things. These are some things that I'm I want to know. I know nothing about these people. I don't want you know like you, like I told you I don't watch TV. I have three of them. Mm -hmm. I don't watch TV. I only watch certain things so I can get what the fuck news. So whatever catches my eye on that. But otherwise, I don't watch TV because I think it's all stupid. <laughs> I little I think it's all dumb because even if I'm slipping that if I can and then I, uh, my ADD do play a lot too has a big plays a big part in it. That's why I didn't graduate from high school. It would be taking too long to get to the the the, the, the subject at hand and, and cross it all your teeth real quick. I lose interest. So I don't watch TV. A lot of it is regurgitated shit that I've seen back in the 70s. And it's not as good. It's not thought-provoking. Thought okay? Uh, Blackish. The fuck? You know what? You know what show I think you'll get a kick out of, though? Like, if you used to actually sit and watch it? What? Shameless. Somebody else said that to me. Somebody because else they're from that. Chicago. Okay. I think the South Side. Ain't you Ain't you familiar with yeah, the South, South Side? South Side. Baby. It's South Side Chicago, but it's... It's Third Street. It's, it's... Watch mm -hmm. it. You will literally be at home if you watch that show. Okay. 
They got the train, the train, just like in New York. Train, yep, the L, yep, the L, yep. The L. And it's you'll like it. I honestly think you'll like it because it'll be relatable for you. I did used to watch stuff that w- that was that w- came out of Chicago, like because I used to remember the scenery and know and I knew you will you, you will remember the scenery, you know. But my bro- well, my mother's son told me that Chicago. I haven't been back to Chicago since 1998. Yeah, you'll feel you 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 should watch it. And the crazy part is, it's 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 white folk. It's white folk. You got to mm. watch it. This shit is funny as hell. You got to watch it. Okay. Okay. Like, I, I can check I can check it out. I guess I can, what channel was it on? Because I'm not uh, paying for the I, I Y'all just pay for me, bro. Okay. I gave I gave you the Hulu. Oh, okay, I, mean, I got it. I got it. It should I be on it. Hulu. I want to say okay. it's on Hulu. Okay. You know what? Let me just look right now because I got my TV on. I was trying to watch the new episode of BMF, but I'm gonna look. Let me see. I've heard is that isn't that isn't that connected to uh Fifty? That show? Mm-hmm. Okay, I thought so. I think, I, him, him I think Instagram. that's Charlie Wilson. I think that's him and Charlie Wilson rapping in the in the intro. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Uncle Charlie, do your mm-hmm. thing, bro. I love. He's been with the same woman for years too. Mm. And perfect example of dating down because I was we was just talking about it. I'm bringing up Charlie Wilson. You tell me, oh, you said Charlie Wilson, right? Mm-hmm. Here's the story allegedly that I was hearing Charlie say that that woman picked him up when he was broke, didn't have nothing. Gap band, he wasn't making no money. But that woman picked him up and carried him and, and got him back to where he was supposed to be mentally, drug free. That part of dating down. It's different because she already knew where he was at, and that's what—that's the difference. Okay, you the, got a man. Who you, so that's the example. You got a man who you see has a has a talent. You want to nurture that. It's like a seed. You want to get let him get, him, get, his, get himself back together. I t- I can do. I can. You know what? And no. But then, but then look, you also got people who 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 prime example. Kanye West. Mm-hmm. He gonna get on and leave your ass for a white girl. Like, I, and that's what he did. That's exactly. Yeah, he was talking about himself. That woman yeah. nurtured you. That woman helped nurse you back to health. That woman. Yeah. Per, that woman supported you. That woman was with you through the wire. Like you was exactly. <laughs> you, and you got on and left that yeah, woman. For the for- white girl. You wrote a song about it. You want to hear? Here you go. Okay. I, so it's like you got it's two fronts. You got the Charlie Wilson example, and you got the Kanye West example. And now, and and then look, it, Charlie Wilson. That was you know back in the day. You had Kanye West. That was more of the modern day. Now we in the modern modern day. Imagine mm. what a man will do once he. You he get on after you support. Well, him. y'all, I'm gonna tell you now what the example now is: them, this, the the black rock people, the, the blue face people, the people, yeah, them folks. Because here's here's and, and this I'm drifting off with some bullshit. I don't know why this came to my mind, but the the, the blue face mama is running around telling some Diddy tried to uh, get Christian rock. Future on, on I don't understand why mothers of these little stars have to be so visible on the internet. Now, for me, because jazz was in music, I wanted to be background. I didn't. I don't want nobody. To, yeah, I just want to be able to sign a check. Whatever you gotta you need clothes, I want to be that person. I don't want to. Why? What is? What is it about the internet that makes grown women? I don't, I don't get it. Maybe something wrong with me. 
Because like now, I don't like getting on camera. I'm so and and I feel more comfortable like this. What is it in you where you got to be on camera acting ignorant though? <sighs> Showing the people where they ratchet ass kids get it from. But these people are out dating. They're, see, that's part of the dating pool that's out there now in at this time. That's the, that's what's in the dating pool now for y'all, but not for you because they're younger than you. Well, for you too, because some some because some of these older people is acting just ratchet because these are older people we're talking about. That I don't understand how ratchet became so damn popular. Everybody wants their fifteen minutes of fame, but you bring it into the dating. And then you're wondering why they nobody wants to be together. No, you got birth rate and, and it's just a lot. Everybody acting out and nobody's looking out for each other no more. That's why I'll just be, sometimes I'll be here. And it's like, I'll stop dating for a couple months and then I'll jump it's back kind of, into it and, and just be yeah. Be like, this is why I left. This is why I, I, I decided to that, give it a that, I'm thinking that's that, that, but that's why I'm explaining why I left. And people, Jazzy, Jazzy at one point said, Mommy, you need a boyfriend. I looked at her. I said, Don't ever tell me that because no, that's not going to change. It's only going to make me meaner. It's only going to make me meaner because he's going to get on my nerves. He's going to say something stupid. It's guaranteed. To get up under my skin. So instead of me going through all of that, I just stopped. Just just leave me the fuck alone. Okay. If the urge come up, I know how to satisfy it. I'm good. I don't want your social security, bro. Social security. <laughs> okay. I'm I'm good. You know? I don't know. I just, I like to consider myself a good woman, but you know, maybe I'm just not. I think you're cool. I think you're a cool person, but I'm not, you know, I'm a woman. I ain't trying to date you or nothing, but I think you're a cool person because a lot of the stuff, I, a lot of the stories I know about you, anybody else be unfolded by now. <laughs> <laughs> Like a fucking lawn chair. Listen. <laughs> so that's another thing. I have, I have, I have baggage. Okay, and I know I have baggage. Why would I? Why would I want to share that into somebody else's life? I haven't dealt. I haven't dealt with my emotional stuff. Because I remember there was a preacher. There was a preacher girl trying to hit. Oh, uh, look, bro. Don't you see me? Do I look like I want to be somebody's first lady? I, I know I'm a I'm a heathen over here, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I'm do I'm still in the midst of my fucking up stage. Plus, you cool and everything, but I'm already five four, and you shorter than me. It ain't gonna work. <laughs> I do have a preference. Tall. Because I'm already short. Okay. So I do have a preference. Tall. But I prefer you be out my face. Out my face. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I don't know what it is. I like looking at them. I love looking at men. Love, love looking at them. It be some fine ones out there. <laughs> it be some fine ones. <laughs> Girl, because I, they ran a thing on, with with the, a montage of black men from the nineties, right? Mm. Well, you know, Method Man was up in that bad boy, right? Mm. Like, the the one of the last pictures they were they showed before they put Denzel up was this dude walking down the hallway with his white uh white white beater on, and he his jeans wasn't on his on his butt, but they was you know they was they was on the hips right. They had his belt on. He was looking good. He was. It was all right. And I was like, who is the, and they were doing him. We were walking in slow motion. 
And he just snatched my whole soul. I didn't know who the hell this man was. I, was like, I did a whole TikTok thing and, and told them, stop what the fuck y'all doing right now. And right showed, now. And I showed the montage of just his part when he was walking. And I said, who this man? Because I didn't even put, <laughs> I put it just like that, but you know, I use my emoji. Okay. But anyway, I said, who this man? Because I need to know because he just snatched my. But let's say he snatched my whole soul. Then I found out who the fuck he was. Goddamn genuine. Mm. The 90s version. Mm. Now I'm not talking about the, I'm not talking about the 60 50, the 59. I'm not talking about the 50 year old version. I'm mm -hmm. talking about that, that one that was walking down that hallway. Mm. He could have had everything. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> he could have him, he could have had all of it. All of it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Shit now. Because I was no, I, I've never I've never been stuck before. Never in my life, in my 61 years and in, in 50 when I was paying attention to dating. Okay? My 50 years, I would say 50 years of my life, I've never been stuck. Now I'm on a TV screen watching somebody and I get stuck. I'm like, wait a minute, what is going on? Hold on. <laughs> I'll be doing that. That boy was, <clears throat> that boy was fine as do you hear me? I don't know if it's because I done got older and I'm not a little high school girl no more. Mm -hmm. But when I be seeing, especially brothers in this fucking sea of saltine out here, girl, I see when I see something that look good and they notice me noticing them that they look good. I don't even be breaking eye contact. I make eye contact. I be looking like, mm -hmm, I'm looking at you. I'm looking, I'm looking dead at you. And yo, <laughs> hey, this is, hey, we got to cut it off. I think we might have to, we ain't got to do another part. No, we're not going to do another no. part. We've been an hour already. And this conversation is still good because I'm telling you, man, listen, I love looking at them. I just don't want to touch him. Mm. I don't want him touching me. I'm going to touch I, you all over. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, 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 I've gotten to the point where I don't need the physical touch no more. Um, And maybe that's sad. Maybe that's, maybe that's part of the childhood trauma that's playing itself out now. Do you understand what I'm saying? That, that could be playing itself out now. So that goes all into the mental health thing that we be talking about. Mm-hmm. Because at 61, I should not still be traumatized by nobody putting their arms around me to get a hug. There's no way. And with that said, y'all, thank y'all for hanging out with me and Pooh. This show, we talked about dating and all the shenanigans and the things that you go through. But I really hope that y'all find the person that's right for you and that you live a happy life and you take care of your mental health and the person that you're with wants to take care of your mental health. You take care of each other. And on that note, I need you guys to remember to to follow Pooh on TikTok. TikTok is we got to get her to a thousand followers so we can go live over there, guys, so we can go live over there and hang out. Pooh, give them your TikTok. I guess Nugget was going to give it to y'all. You want to give it to the Nugget? That's funny. <laughs> you know what? It, 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 oh. <laughs> She can fleek S H E C A N F L E E K. Thank you, Nugget. Um, all uh, Nugget said no capitalizations, uh, no underscores, no spaces, none of that. Just S H E C A N F L E E K. Follow her on TikTok or she will follow you back. Now, I'm yes. what the fuck news over there. WT, w, what the fuck? WTF news with a Z. N E W Z. One. What the fuck news? Charlene over there on TikTok. Y'all come over there and follow me. If you got good content 
and don't be in my DMs with that dumb shit, I'll pop you <laughs> back. Y'all, <laughs> I'm telling you the truth. Y'all have a good one, and thank you for tuning in and, and dealing with our shenanigans, but we got to go. We got to get the hell out of here. If I can find our way out of here. Bye. I usually do. We out. No matter what I do, they still gon' hate.